Hello everybody, my name is Tabby and this is my Tome Infinity and Beyond TBR. This readathon is dedicated to all of the sci-fi and I'm so excited because sci-fi is definitely a genre that I want to get into more of, so I'm ready. Earth is dying! What else is new? And we have to evacuate and settle on a new planet. And there are four ships leaving from Earth, and it is up to you to decide which ship you want to evacuate on. But each ship has its own reading challenge slash requirement. And each ship goes on its own journey, different from all the other ships, stopping at different planets in, different, in a different order. So it's all up to you which challenges you want to do and in what order, which is so much fun. And so everybody's TBR is going to be different, everybody's challenges are going to be different, and the minimum requirement, you have to at least land on three planets, making a total of four books, because the ship that you pick is one book, and then the planets each are a book, so I'm ready. Because this readathon is very intricate, I'm going to leave the link down below to the announcement video. I'm also going to leave a link to where you can find what the planets are, like what the challenges are for each planet and what the order is for the ships and there's like a whole map, like it's like intense. So I will leave a link down there for you to figure that out because I definitely needed to look that over a few times. Anyways, let's get into it. The ship I chose to evacuate Earth on was Ship D, which means I have to read a new to me author. For that, I chose Illumine by Jay Kristoff and I almost said Morgan Freeman. I almost said Morgan Freeman. What? Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I can never get her name right. I know it, but I can never get it right. And this series gets so much hype, so I am so excited. It's also, although it's over 500 pages, there are a lot of pages like this. So it's a lot of mixed media. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fly right through this. I am so excited. Then I will be making my way to the asteroid belt where I have to read a space opera. And this works perfectly. It's Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey. And a lot of the first book, at least, took place on the asteroid belt. So it fits. It fits. I am so excited to read this. The first book was so good. It was my very first space opera. And I was kind of nervous that it was going to be a little too sci-fi for me. But I loved it. It was a lot of action, a lot of intense scenes and never a dull moment very fast-paced it's good and i'm very excited i've heard that this book gets so good so i am ready also this cover i'm pretty sure i've mentioned it before but this cover is amazing from the asteroid belt i will be making my way over to saturn where i have to read a book with circles on the cover okay so this might be a little bit of a cheat but you know what so I'm going to be reading Morning Star by Pierce Brown, and you're probably thinking like, girl, there are no circles on that cover. Well, let me just show you. There's a circle here in Morning Star, and here for Brown, and there's a whole bunch of circles up here for New York, and then Book. Book has two circles in it. Trilogy has a circle. There's lots of circles, okay? And also, I just need a reason to read this because I have been separated from my Darrow for so long. I can't, like, I need him. I need to be reunited with my main man, and I, I miss him so much. This is the third book in the Red Rising trilogy, which is an amazing trilogy. I have a non-spoiler review for the first book, and I will leave that link down below. You definitely are going to want to read this book if you like sci-fi or fantasy because it is a great blend of both. Non-stop action, so fast-paced, just amazing. It's so good. I'm almost like scared to read this. You know when you love a series so much that you're like afraid to start the next book because that only means you're one book closer to the end and <sighs> I love this book so much. My precious. And from Saturn, I will be making my way and settling on the planet Uranus. On this planet, I'm going to have to read a book with comic relief. For that, I will be reading The Martian by Andy Weir. I've seen this movie and I really enjoyed it, but I know that the book is so much better. I've heard nothing but great things about this, and I know when it first came out, I didn't really want to read it because it was like very science-y. Apparently it's really funny and Mark Watney, the main character, is a great narrator, very smart and very 
comedic. So I'm excited to read this. And that concludes my Tome Infinity and Beyond TBR. Let me know if you guys are participating in this readathon and if you are, what books are you reading? And if you've read any of these actually, like in general, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. I'm just gonna stop saying bye in my videos because I always like feel so awkward.